Hey everybody, it's Simmers Talk, and welcome back to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this completely functional children and toddler playset. Um, you can use whatever packs you need. The main thing you'll need is this base game pirate ship that you want to go ahead and turn over to the back where it has that slide part. And then we want to go ahead and build a room right next to it, and then build another room on top, deleting that first room. And then we'll have a floating room in the air like so. You don't want to go ahead and size it over because as you can see it'll move our pirate ship. So instead you want to move your pirate ship right under it as I'm doing right here. It'll take a few tries but once you get it under it where the slide is kind of out of the way in a sense. Like I'm about to show in a second. Um, then you want to go ahead and size down that platform. And then, yeah, you'll be able to see that slide hanging off just like so. You want to size it down just a little bit more until, like, it's right on top of that slide. And then you want to size down your pirate ship, which I went ahead later on in this video and used tool mod to size down even smaller, which still functions, by the way. But if you can't size it down using tool mod, just try to hide it with some plants or something. And, yeah. Um, then you just want to add your favorite columns, and I completely forgot to make a second area, so I just went ahead and stretched it over and then used the fence to block in my areas for both of those platforms, and then delete what's in the center. Now you do need four units in the middle for a slide. As you can see, I was a unit short here, and but I went ahead and fixed that later in the video. It wasn't that hard of a fix, and then you just want to place the rest of your columns on the top, and then... After that, you want to go ahead, and I think I went ahead and added our trim. Yeah, we added our trim now. I just went with a darker trim. And then you want to go ahead and add your roof, too. Um, and the roof was pretty easy. I matched the trim to the slide trim as well, and then I curved it a little bit more using Shift-C for more curving options. I used a smaller trim on the roof, but on the slide, we went ahead and used a bigger trim. Um, and the reason I'm saying trim is because we actually made the slide out of a roof, but it completely functions. That's the thing, because it, they they don't see that in the way, I guess. They kind of just see the pirate ship, so that's what they quote-unquote use, but it completely looks like it works, right? So we want to go ahead and size this half-gabled roof down to one unit, and then we want to push in the sides on both sides. Um, and then once you have that, you want to go ahead, you don't want to stretch out the top, you want to press shift C to get more curving options on this too, and then curve it to like a slide look, like how you want it to look. And then you want to size it down, and then hold shift on that top arrow to size only that top arrow up. And then once you have it at a shape you want, don't forget to hold shift on that top arrow and bring it in because I completely forgot until like last minute. <laughs> but that's basically what I do right here. And then I went ahead and choose the different roof pattern for our slide. I think I went for like some sheet, uh, sh some type of sheet metal look just because, you know, it looked like a slide to me. And then as far as our columns on the bottom row, oh, I went ahead and just added some basic wallpaper under there just to hide it a little bit more. But as far as our columns on the bottom, you'll see if we go to copy our column and place it, it won't allow us. So we're going to have to place them out of inventory. Just keep pulling them out of the inventory and place them, and then they'll completely show up right underneath. And there's no weird glitches or anything, in my opinion. I think it looks just fine. And here I am using tool mod just to size it down. I sized it down the 0 0.01 and as you can see it's still there but it's very small and now it's easier to hide and then you just want to choose a flooring of your choice and yeah uh, don't forget to add your ladders as well and this is how I made the sand pit I just used this fence right here which they sims can completely like walk over and then I just made a 3x3 three three area filling it in with sand and I believe you need island living for toddlers and everybody else to be be able to build sand castles but other than that this whole build is completely base game you can choose any swing set you want i use the one from island living just because i like the wood color but yeah if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and comment and i'll see you guys next time